what did you find doing with your time uh, when you were like totally clean? Well, that almost sunk me because I had planned for what I was going to put in my hand. I had planned to replace some habits, but I didn't plan for 30 or 40 extra hours a week. I really? had no idea. I had no idea. You know, I was very highly functional. I didn't fall down when I drank. I didn't get DWIs. I drank for 40 years, almost every day uh, towards the last half of that. Not, not, uh, you know, not falling over, but, just always sipping, always, you know, like you might have a glass of tea in your hand. I had a bourbon and soda and it just got to be too much one day. And I decided to make some changes. And so I, I went to the gym, but that only took up about, you know, a few hours of that 40 hours and a week, you know? So, um, I started studying diet and how to, you know, really make some progress in the gym. And I thought, well, that'll, that's a huge subject. I could jump into that and try to study some of those keto diets and all that stuff. And I got in there and got interested and uh, I let that occupy my time. But I also, you know, I'm coming out with my, my, my fourth book now, um, the art of private lending, you know? Um, and I have a fifth book that's about three quarters of the way done. So, you know, one thing about entrepreneurs, it won't take them long to figure out how to fill up their time. <laughs> for sure. Well, I tell you what, there's one thing we're not going to be for very long and that's bored, right? right. <laughs> right. 